The dough has risen! I'm sorry. The dough has risen. Hello, everybody. It is me, Elise, and today I am making every dish from the princess and the frog. Oh, the princess and the frog. We all know it, we all love it. Disney's first black princess, amazing. I am going to be making every dish that I see in the movie, hopefully. We got gumbo beignets, hotcakes, and other little sweet things, and it's gonna be a grand old time. So let's get into it. The first dish I'll be making is the gumbo that Tiana made as a child with her father. Okay, so it's time for the gumbo. There's like two different scenes of gumbo. She's making some for her father for the first time and then also the swamp gumbo. I searched around everywhere and I could not for the life of me find a pumpkin to make swamp gumbo. So we're just gonna make the regular kind, okay? So you need your holy trinity. That's your onion, garlic, and it's supposed to be celery, but I don't like celery that much. So I use a green pepper. They're both green, so that's the difference. And we're gonna chop these up. When I'm done chopping these up, I'm going to go make a roux in the pot. And a roux is just oil or butter with flour in it. And you like, yeah, you cook it up until it's nice and dark. And then I'm going to add these vegetables to it. And it's gonna be like, just an amazing situation as the base for our gumbo. Oh uh, yeah. Literally one of my top 10 favorite smells is roux mixed with the Holy Trinity, like. <laughs> After I let it cook for a couple minutes, I'm going to add some beef broth, and then I'm going to add my, uh, my meats, my meats, my andouille sausage, and my chicken. All right, y'all, we just need to add some few seasonings and our bay leaves, and then don't forget your okra and your shrimps, and hit it with that Tabasco. You, come on, add a little bit more Tabasco, yes, yes. And then it's looking good, it's smelling good, and then we plate it and it's nice. All right, everybody, my gumbo has been made. It is looking scrumptious. I went viral in like 2020 for making uh, the gumbo from the princess and the frog. And I remember everybody lost their minds because I put tomatoes in the gumbo. But I like tomatoes. The traditional way to make it is without tomatoes, I understand. So I didn't put any tomatoes in this, but I'm sure it's still just as good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's quite tasty. I love gumbo, I think gumbo is great. And I'm sure Tiana's, I'm sure the one that she makes is bussin'. And this one is bussin' too. This is the best gumbo <laughs> I've ever tasted. Mm-mm, <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna finish this and then we'll see you guys. The next dish I'll be making is the beignets that we see tons of times throughout the movie, as well as the eggs and bacon and hot cakes that we see in the diner scene. Y'all, I had to remake the dough twice because I thought I could guesstimate and it did not work out. That is why I do not like baking. Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. The thing I don't like about myself is that I don't think. Why did I put all this stuff in a separate bowl when I knew I was gonna need the stand mixer to mix it in the first place? It should have been in this. Anyway, after mixing all the ingredients, I let it rise for two hours and it looked good. Pretty easy process now. We're going to roll this dough out. Ooh, it's so soft. We're gonna roll this dough out and then we're gonna fry it in some oil. And it's gonna be freaking freaking delicious. I forgot to heat the oil. I'm surprised. I really don't have like a pizza slicer. I usually have the most random stuff in this place. I hope this doesn't cut the counters. See, and I wanted to make less dough because this is gonna be I'm just one person! I'll be making too much, I'll be making too much. Now it is time to fry the dough. They fried on each side for like, I don't know, a minute or so, and then flipped them when they were nice and golden brown. Then I also made some pancakes, so just using a box mix, and then the eggs and bacon as well. Very simple, very easy. Then I had to dust the beignets with some powdered sugar, and this is my favorite part. Look at this fancy little, oh my God, look at that with the honey, okay. And some syrup, and everything is looking nice and good. Wow. Look at all this food. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. 
beignets, eggs, bacon, and hotcakes. I'm more of a waffle person, if I'm being honest. I've made beignets before. Like I said, I'm more of a waffle person, but pancakes are cool too. I just use the box mix. And eggs and bacon is explanatory. Eggs are my favorite food. So I'm 100% sure this is going to be delicioso. So let's give it a taste. Beignet! Get in there. Mmm. Scrumptious. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these beignets. I made too many, as usual. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this meal and then on to the next one. Now I'm gonna try and make a couple of these desserts that we see in the montage scene of Almost There. I had a whole plan in my mind. I was gonna make that three-tiered cake. I was gonna make a pie. I was gonna make the cupcakes, but you know what happened? I'll tell you what happened. Life, I can only do so much. I'm so sorry, I can only do so much. And that so much is going to be a simple little mousse in our simple little champagne glass. And you're gonna like it. I'm not much of a dessert person anyway, so. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It looks like it goes whipped cream mousse, whipped cream mousse. So I'm gonna make whipped cream and then I'm gonna make a like chocolate mousse and we're just gonna zzzz. All right, to make the whipped cream, I just added heavy whipping cream and sugar into a bowl and then just whipped it up until it was nice and thick. And then I separated half of it and added cocoa powder and some chocolate chips to make like the darker mousse. Then I made like this little ganache thing so that it could slide down the glass and make this cool kind of drippy drip type situation. Yes. And then I just pipetted kind of, this is a little, this is not cute, but like I, I squeezed the different whipped creams back and forth, back and forth until I got a nice little situation. And then yeah. One last thing we got here, a little cherry on top. Here we go. Ooh! You know, it's not perfect. I want. I definitely wanted like it to be more swirly on the inside, like have a nice little swirl. Like it's kind of weirdly caked together, but you know, I'd say it's pretty decent considering the circumstances. The circumstances being, I am tired. Let's give it a taste. I mean, it's just straight whipped cream. Mm. Love whipped cream. That's it. I think I did, for the most part, a decent job in making all the dishes from the princess and the frog. I got all the staple dishes, I know that for sure. The gumbo, the beignets, those were like the two big ones. And then I got a little couple things here and there. I think I think it's a decent amount. I wish I could have made all those desserts. It would have been dope, but it just wasn't gonna happen. This was such a fun challenge. I love doing these. I try to make every single thing from iconic movies, TV shows, and those types of stuff. So glad to have Tiana as the first black Disney princess. And I hope there will be so many more in the future. Black food and black culture is so amazing. It's so wonderful. It's Black History Month. We're doing the damn thing. It's great. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.